Well, good morning, everybody. We've got an empty trailer here. We are at the Olson truck stop near Clearwater, Minnesota. We're about to get this day started. We're gonna go put some steel on this trailer. And we're gonna wrap that steel in plastic. And then we're gonna wrap that plastic covered steel under my tarps. It's gonna be fun. quality air in all my tires. It smells smoke out here. Someone's having a very big bonfire nearby. I can't get around here, can I? Well, I'm gonna make it happen. There we go. Check all these tires. Looks like we're all good to go. So our pickup is almost downtown Minneapolis by the looks of it. It's a big city, so I'm sure it's far from the actual downtown core. But it is pretty much in the center of the city. Time to rock and roll. Hopefully do more rolling than rocking, but... Turn left. That's what I'm doing. Turn right and then turn left into 140 meters. It's a nice cab over. Just above there. Turn left on CR8 and then take the entrance to the right in 70 meters. Pulling that orange container up there. Classic. That is awesome. I wouldn't mind having one of those one day. mind having a lot of things one day though, to be honest. steel that's 45,000 no 44 a little over 44,000 pounds of steel it's gonna be fun getting out of Minneapolis now in rush hour Traffic. 
Let's see, who feels like letting a semi in today? At 400 meters, keep to the left on I-35 WMN. Keep to the left in 870 meters. Holy smoke, somebody's letting me in right away? Wow! Thank you. Give him the wave. Now I've got to get over even further yet. Oh boy. Anybody else want to let a big truck over? Another person right away. Wow, what is this? One more, one more. One more lane, come on. And again, wow, Minneapolis, you're being really nice today. That was, wow, I got nothing bad to say about that. Everybody take notes from these Minneapolis drivers. Wow. In 100 meters, keep to the left on I-35 WMN. Keep to the left in 870 meters. That was like effortless. Three lanes of traffic, rush hour. Right away, has made it over. That would not work in Toronto as well. That's why they call it Minnehapulous. Everybody's so happy. Nothing bad ever happens in Minneapolis. In 600 meters, keep to the left on I-35 W. I'm trying. I'm trying. Look at this. Yikes. All of these people. All going home at the same time.
we're still east of the river. So I think this is St. Paul, right? Minneapolis is on the west side of the river. Is that how it works? I don't know where their line is. Two cities in one. Lots and lots of people. But if it does, that's okay. I've got quite a bit of time to get back. I'm not expecting my border clearance to go through tonight yet, so I'll probably drive close up to the border somewhere. Maybe in Drayton, North Dakota. Maybe even all the way up to Pembina. Sleep there overnight. And then in the morning, hopefully then I'll get my border clearance early in the morning. And I'll quickly run up to Rosenort, which is about, well, maybe an hour north of the border. Not even. Not even. Drop this off, and we'll be officially on holidays as soon as we drop this trailer off. Look at this car I'm passing. Tell me you drive with two feet. No telling me you drive with two feet. Get that left foot off your brake pedal, bud. And wear out your brakes. <laughs> Imagine how hot those brake pads are getting right now. Woo! We're not just the brake pads, the brakes in general. If he keeps riding like that, he's gonna have some smoky brakes sooner or later. You only need one foot to drive. Your left foot should either be using the clutch or if you're driving an automatic, your left foot should be doing nothing. A lot of smoke in the sky lately again. Every summer already. I think there's fires burning up in Alberta or something, right? Mostly man-made again, I bet. Just like the last, the last couple of years. Like, what's going on? Who's setting these fires? It's getting kind of annoying, because I remember growing up, we always had clear skies through the summer, unless I just didn't notice the smoke. But it seems this, like lately, the last five years or so, people are constantly causing fires every summer and we we have huge portions of our summer that we can't enjoy because of all the smoke in the sky and then of course there's always the people that don't want to let a crisis go to waste and try to scare everybody that the end of the world is coming the end is nigh every time and then you gotta go over it again and again and again are people just not being careful like, Because it always comes out, you know, all these fires start up in Canada, and then everyone's like, "Oh my goodness, the world is the world is coming to an end." We told you, we told you. And then you know, like a week later, it comes out quietly that, yeah, the fires were all caused by people. A few were caused by lightning strikes. I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting tired of all the smoke every summer. You guys notice it too where you're at? It's not that bad, but you can tell that the sun isn't quite making it through because the sky looks gray and there's no clouds in the sky, but the sun is dim, you know? You can almost look straight at it. It's not bright at all. It's because all the smoke in the upper atmosphere. It's dark out, but you can tell we're coming up to Grand Forks by all the billboards perfectly evenly spaced all along here. That's one thing the U.S. does well. They know how to advertise massive billboards everywhere. Nice, big steel structures, you know? Manitoba is kind of, well, Canada in general, the billboards are a little bit more, like, flimsy, is that the word? Not as rugged and tough. Or like... I don't know, maybe it's just me. America knows how to advertise though, that's for sure. This is, uh, we're coming up to the Flying J in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Grab us some juice. May as 
well. It's a lot cheaper down here. Actually, turn right. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, I should. I was thinking if I didn't, then it would go on to next month's pay period. Because the next time I'll be filling up will be next meters. month. Turn left on South 48th Street. Because of my holidays, but no, I don't want to worry about that. I don't want to worry about having low fuel. I still got a ways to go to get home. Really, buddy? Really? No wave, no nothing? Just flew around here by these guys who are working? Oh, that thing burnt right out right there. Somebody's brake overheated. Yikes. My border clearance. I think they're still working on it, but that's all right. I'll probably just go up to Pembina, North Dakota, right at the border, and just spend the night there. Not a big deal. attention to their brakes. That had to have been heating up and smoking for a while and then before it catches fire. But accidents do happen. Turn right onto 32nd Avenue South. That's what I'm doing. Oh great, these construction workers are blocking the whole road now. 500 meters, take the entrance to the left on I-29 North US 81 oh, North. Oh, now they're going, they see me coming. All right. In 500 meters, turn left onto the I-29 North US 81 North ramp to Winnipeg. Oh, he's gonna stop again. Yeah, sure. Stop and chat for a bit, why not? You might be getting paid by the hour, I'm not. He didn't hold me up. All is good. All is good in the hood. recently apparently so I've been stopping here quite often the Morris Esso Husky used to be a Husky now it's an Esso and I got my spot no one had taken it right here along the side it's my spot just so you all know it is reserved it has it's very tiny writing it's under my truck so I can't show you right now but it's very very tiny small writing in the gravel it says this spot is reserved for Trucker Josh. You just have to trust me, it's there. So no one was parked in it today, which is awesome. This lot is pretty muddy though. Uh, you know, you can't really see it right now. Uh, you can see it there, sort of. It must have rained earlier today here. 
right over there. And I'm happy to have made it over onto the Canadian side. I wanted to push it and get here today. So my border clearance went through just as I was in Grand Forks there. I wanted to get here because when I'm on Canadian soil, I'm on Canadian hours of service. Which means I only have to stop for eight hours tonight instead of 10, like I would have to in the US. After eight hours, I get a full day available to me on my e-log, on my log books. So at eight hours, I can leave from here or start my pre-trip and then leave from here. And I'm just delivering in Rosenort, just around the corner from Morris. So it's like 15, 20 minutes down the road. I'll get that steel off my trailer. Then uh, it's officially holidays. I'm, I'm officially on holidays then. So that was the whole reason. I wanted to stop for eight instead of 10 hours. So on the Canadian side, tomorrow we'll wake up right here. We'll get that done. And we got lots to do. It's not really, uh, well, I want to do a lot of relaxing because this is time that I actually booked off to relax, get a few things done around the yard, yeah, do some fishing, yeah, but uh, just to enjoy my family for the most part. So I don't know how many videos I'm going to film. I'd like to film every day. I don't know how boring that would be or how interesting that would be. Let me know down below in the comment section if you want to tag along with me every day on my holidays. I don't mind making short videos for you. I don't know how much content there will be though because some days we'll just probably be sitting around the house. Uh, but stay tuned anyways. Uh, so from now through about another whole, almost two weeks, about a week and a half, two weeks, I'll be at home. But tomorrow we'll do some trucking yet while we go and deliver that. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes right now. I don't know why I'm sitting out here. Got my shoes all muddy. <laughs> Did the walk around my truck to make sure that uh, Everything was in good order and mostly to make sure that I wasn't sinking because this uh, lot does get a little soft when it's wet like this and we're on good hard ground from what I can understand, what I can see here. But walking around there was a mud hole and I didn't see it because it was dark. You know my shoes all muddy. There's no way to end the day. So anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. I appreciate it. So we started off in Clearwater, Minnesota. We went and loaded up in Minneapolis. Uh, I was actually uh, like close to the center of Minneapolis there, well into the city. Oh, excuse me. And then uh, from there, Drove up down I-94 westbound to the I-29 north. We turned north. We stopped in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Filled up our tanks. Uh, got our border clearance there. Came up here, crossed over the border. Stopped in Morris, Manitoba. We drove about, uh, all together about eight hours today. So it was, it was a good, decent day. Not a complete full day, but a good day. About 500 miles or 800 kilometers. Uh, I'm happy with that. Tomorrow will be a little bit shorter because I mean all we got to do is go and unload the steel and uh, bring the trailer back and head home to the shop. Now I know I'm starting my holidays midweek. Uh, my wife's birthday is on Thursday and it'll already be passed by the time you watch this but uh, it was July 25th. That's her birthday. She's turning 25 again. So uh, I wanted to be home for that. We also have uh, I booked a truck wash on her birthday and I feel kind of, I feel so bad about it. She's assured me that it's perfectly fine. And she encouraged, I even canceled it. I said, you know what? I have this because we have the truck show on Saturday. Uh, I mean on Friday, right? On the 26th. So I booked an appointment with large car truck spa the day before the truck show to get the truck wash detailed, nice and make it all mint, right? I'm going to do a whole video on large car truck spa so that you guys can see it as well because I want you guys to take your trucks there. It does an amazing job. You'll see. Right, so tune in uh, on Thursday for that video. But uh, anyways, I booked this and it, it, I thought of it later. I'm like, oh shoot. <laughs> I messed up. I messed up big time. Uh, and that, that is my wife's birthday that day. And I want to make that day super special for her because it's a very, very special birthday. Turning 25 again. And uh, 
oh man, I felt so bad. So I, I, I called the, my my buddy up there. I said, you know, I got to cancel this appointment. It's my wife's birthday. And my wife talked me out of it. She said, no, 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 no. You, you go and you get that done. You got a truck show the next day. You know, it's for work and stuff. It's for the YouTube channel here. And, uh, it's also uh, the one event, one of the events that I've been looking forward to for, for a long time. And she says, you know what? No, no, we, we're not going to go out on the Thursday anyways to celebrate. We're going out on the weekend to celebrate her birthday. She said, go ahead. And I'm like wondering to myself, I'm like, are you speaking in code to me right now? Is this a test? But she assured me over and over again. She says, no, 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 go get your truck washed. We'll go out for like supper in the evening. We can have like a fun breakfast in the morning. Go out in the afternoon, get the truck washed, bring it back. We'll go out and do something special in the evening. Are you sure this isn't a test? My mom was there too. And uh, she she's a witness. So... <laughs> We're going to get the truck washed on, on uh, like it's a special kind of wash uh, on Thursday, which is my wife's birthday also. And then we're also going to celebrate her birthday that day and on the weekend. So that's why my holidays start in the middle of the week, because uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. The next day is her birthday. The day after that is the truck show at PBX. Look forward to uh, the video from that day. From what I've heard, I've called them. Apparently, it's going to be a full house. They have uh, all of their spots booked with trucks that have registered to be there. Hopefully everybody shows up. Hopefully we get a good sunny day with warm weather. Not too hot, but warm. And partly cloudy maybe would be nice, but no rain. We'll see what happens. And then, uh, you know, Saturday, Sunday, we're gonna celebrate her birthday again. And then uh, our camper is being rented out for that week, starting on Tuesday. Excuse me. So that's why this sort of vacation is sort of booked around this rental because we're not renting out our trailer this year, just the one. We just had the one rental this year because uh, they booked it a year ago already. So we're honoring this rental, but our trailer is not going to be on the market for rent uh, after this. But I have to deliver it on the Tuesday. So uh, on Tuesday, I'll be delivering that to their campsite, setting it up for them. And it's going to be there for a week until August, uh, uh, in August. And then I got to go pick it up, bring it back and pack it away pretty much for winter. Cause that's going to be the last time it'll be used this year. Probably we'll see. You got to put it back in the shop and then, uh, we're also going, we rented a pontoon boat for one of these weekends as well. So it's, it's going to be a busy couple of weeks. I also have plans to get some stuff done in our backyard. You know, the bottom of the fence around our backyard, how it's sort of like all just sort of put together with little pieces of plywood and aspenite and stuff just to block the bottom so the dogs can't get through there. I'm gonna fix that this week. That's my main project that I wanna get done. I have some repairs to do on the truck as well. Um, we'll talk about this more as the week goes on. So there are a few things I wanna get done, but the big things are, number one, my wife's birthday. Number two, the truck show, uh, the truck wash and the truck show. Those are two things, I guess. Uh, and then fixing up the backyard around the bottom of the fence and fixing a few things on my truck here. So th those are the five big things that I want to get done in the in this about two weeks that I have off. Other than that, there's fishing when we got the boat rental and relaxing. So. There'll be a, a, a bit of non-trucking content coming in the future. Just please stick around. We'll get back to trucking eventually, but everybody needs a break from it every now and then. My life can't constantly revolve around this truck and trucking down the highways. And my videos can't always include trucking content because I'm not always trucking. I've been yapping for long enough though. Thank you for hanging through right to the end. If you have made it to the end, you are part of the elite club and I want you to comment down below elite bananas to let me know that you got right to the end. I appreciate every single one of you. Please drive safe when you're out on the highways. If you don't just do it for me, do it for your family, do it for everyone else's family on the road. Don't tailgate. I see way too much of that on the road, especially recently. There's been tons of that. It makes me so mad. Don't cut people off. Give us trucks a little bit more room before you cut in front of us. Remember, we gotta take a lot more time to slow down. Use your turn signals and uh, don't rush.
leave a little earlier if you have to. Or just accept the fact that you're going to be a little bit late. Just don't rush. It's not worth it. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.